Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we built a video card for the market computer, which was pretty cool. Uh, we can now use a uh, market computer, a rudimentary computer, and uh, display video from it. So that's pretty cool. And also in the previous videos, we built a TV typewriter, and we, we eventually hooked it up to the market computer as well. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new series where we'll, we're going to be building a, uh, a new computer. Um, a computer that was actually made uh, around the same time period as the market computer and it was actually called the Selby. The Selby computer is considered to be one of the first uh, general purpose computer marketed to the general public and it was introduced by uh, the Selby computer consulting company. Uh, I think the main person there was uh, by the name of Nat uh, Wasworth. Uh, of course he has some help but he really designed the major components of the computer. And as I mentioned, it was introduced around the same time as the Mark 8 mini computer, which was featured in the uh, Radio Electronics Magazine July 1974 issue. So Selby actually stands for uh, Scientific uh, Electronics and Biology. And Scientific and Electronics, uh, it makes sense. But Biology, why Biology? Who knows? I think there's a reason why, but uh, I guess we can talk about that later. It was sold as a uh, complete uh, systems, computer systems, and it was also sold as kits where people can buy certain components and just kind of put them together and it'll uh, build a computer. Uh, you could also buy uh, bare PCBs and assemble the PCBs, uh, acquire your own components and things like that. In our case, we'll be assembling the Selby computer uh, using bare PCBs, which is something that someone would have done back in 1975 uh, if they hadn't purchased a complete system or a kit. The Selby computer actually has a very deep history. Um, and we could talk about a lot of the historical aspects of the computer and the creators of the computer and people that were involved, but it'll just take uh, probably too much time to talk about it in this video. Mike Willigold actually did a great job compiling uh, the history of the Selby computer uh, and also the creator of the computer, uh, Nat Woodsworth. So if you're interested uh, in reading more about the, the detailed history of the computer and the company itself and, and the people around it, I'll try to include a link uh, in the description uh, uh, to that so you can reference that. The Selby Computer Company actually released two versions of the computer. Uh, the first one was the 8H, uh, which the H stands for, uh, I think, home or hobby. And also they, they released uh, an 8, uh, 8B a little bit later on. And the B stands for business. In our case, we'll be building the 8B version since it actually offers more memory. The main goal of this computer and this project is to reproduce the computer as close to the original as possible and make the gerbers available for anybody else that might be interested in building the computer. In fact, uh, almost all of the projects that we built on this channel uh, are also available in the gerber format on my GitHub page. You may have noticed behind me, or maybe you can't see it, but right over there. We have the reproduced PCBs for the Selby computer, and I also have some stuff right here as well um, that I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, just in a little bit. But let me talk about the uh, PCBs that I've uh, reproduced. And uh, here they are. So they're inserted into the backplane temporarily. I uh, wanted to kind of uh, have them sort of displayed uh, a little bit, so I soldered the uh, these connectors here to the back plane, uh, just a couple of solder joints just to keep them in place. All of these uh, PCBs uh, were uh, reproduced in KiCad, and the way I did it is I looked at the images uh, of the original uh, Selby computer, which you can find online at selby.com, and I, I, I drew all the traces in KiCad, so it, it took a long time just to kind of draw all these lines exactly as they were in the original but I think they're actually very close and what we have here is of course we have the back plane here uh, this was reproduced from the original and uh, we also have all of these other boards so we have the front panel board which has the LEDs and all, all that kind of stuff we have an input board we have an output board uh, we have a, a CPU board, of course, and there's also a memory expansion board, and that's actually only available in the 8B version. And we have an, uh, a 4K RAM board and a 4K ROM board. And of course, these 4K boards are only available in the 8B version. The, uh, the 8H version actually used 1K uh, RAM boards, which I actually didn't reproduce because 8K is uh, much more 
uh, usable than a one K board. So along with these boards, I actually uh, went ahead and reproduced some additional accessory boards. Uh, some they, they were original boards as well. So the TTY interface board, uh, keyboard interface board, the cassette uh, input and output boards as well. Um, and I'm also in the process of uh, designing some additional boards uh, for the Selby computer, which I'm going to introduce in a future video. So I'll have these uh, boards available for sale as a set at Kalancha.com if anybody's interested in building this computer. And additionally, I'll have uh, these other boards that I reproduced, uh, the accessory boards, I.O. boards. Uh, they'll be available at Kalancha.com as well, uh, sold separately. So we have the TTY interface board right here we have the uh, the keyboard interface board the audio inboard so if you want to input data from a uh, audio sources this should be called cassette in I guess you can do that and also cassette uh, output boards so you can uh, save data from the computer uh, to a cassette or some audio source so again these will be available at calcture.com as well the Selby computer will be mounted at one of these uh, three inch thick uh, enclosures. Uh, this is a Bud Industries enclosure, and I think it's maybe 12 inches wide, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll be sure to leave the specs uh, in the GitHub page that I'm going to include soon. And uh, we're, we're going to use the same uh, enclosure for the power supply, and the power supplies will be using something like this. So we have a 12 volt. I think this is a 12 volt. Yeah, so this is going to be a 12 volt uh, power supply. It's a power one, and also we have a 5 volt power supply, and it's, it's also a power one. And I got some original. So this, is, I, I got an original one uh, that was still in a box, and it has uh, some original paperwork here and uh, some schematics and everything. So that's pretty cool. And we have it right over here. If I can take it out of the box. There you go, and that's a 5 volt, 6 amps. Yeah, so these these will be included in the uh, power supply enclosure, the power supply unit for the Selby computer, and we'll we'll use the same kind of enclosure for the, for the power supply as we do for the computer. We'll talk more about the power supply unit in a future video. On the front of the Selby computer, we'll have this uh, front panel uh, mounted. And we have a slot right here, which you can actually use to look at the LEDs of the front panel PCB board right here. And we also have holes for the switches. So we have the uh, data switches right here and some control switches. And it doesn't have any lettering yet, but I'll include that in a, in a later video when we actually assemble this uh, front panel. And I got this uh, front panel made by PCB Way, and I'll include instructions on how you can actually uh, make one, uh, get them to build you one as well. But uh, I also have some of these available for sale at Kalanchi.com in a li limited supply since I only have a few left. Additionally, I made a handy dandy manual. Uh, so this manual will basically, we'll be referencing this manual when we uh, assemble the boards. But it basically contains some information. Uh, for, about the Selby computer, so we have uh, information uh, such as the marketing materials for the Selby computer, and it also contains the very detailed original uh, assembly instructions, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of them. It's a pretty big manual. It contains a lot of information, and it also includes some uh, additional details such as the uh, monitor, uh, editor, and assembler uh, literature uh, for the software so yeah we'll be referencing this manual as we assemble the computer I'll also add some additional stuff uh, as we go on additionally we have uh, a lot of other smaller components uh, right in front of me over here off screen uh, you can't see it but I'm gonna introduce them when we actually start using them uh, in each uh, build so whenever we build for example the front panel board uh, I'm gonna introduce all the front panel components and any other related components that might be needed over the next few videos we'll be assembling each board and testing them out and uh, we're gonna try to basically build this computer one step at a time and then uh, we're gonna put it all together and give it a shot we're, we'll be following the uh, assembly instructions which are, are actually very detailed um, uh, so yeah, we'll be following that as we uh, build a computer. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to click the like button if you found this video interesting. 
And also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos in the series. Bye-bye.